Hello guys, welcome to the video. So in this video, we'll solve the question Wiggle Sort 2 and we'll solve this question in Java. So firstly, I will explain you the question and then we will try to solve it. So let me take you the open board and we will try to first read the question and understand what this question is saying. So we are given an integer array ARR. Alright, and we have to reorder it such that nums 0, nums 1. Alright, so I understood. Let me write it here. Array of 0 should be smaller than array of 1 should be greater than array of 2 should be smaller than array of 3 and this this goes on so we are given a normal array in which we have to sort it in this manner all right so when we will solve it in this manner we will get our wiggle sort all right so let me erase this and uh, if you understood this so we will first take an example and then we will head towards the solution so let me take a array i will create a array which will be let me take it alphabets only f e let me create a box first so that it will be get easier for you so f e g c b a so array could be in a random order all right so i have created a random order of array so the first step is i have to sort the array i have to start sort the array how can we approach this first let's sort the array then we will see afterwards so when i will sort the array i will get that a b c d oh i have left the d so i will write e f g all right so this is my sorted array and this was my random array all right now on the second step i can create a answer array i will create an answer array in which i will fill my values and my final answer will be stored inside my answer array but i have to return the value inside my original array so i will create an answer array for just creating this answer only all right so now what's next i have created my answer array i have sorted this so now can i place some pointers and play it with it so i will place a pointer j at this position so let me write first indexes 5 and i will write it with u 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is our indexes and i have placed a pointer at the greatest element of this sorted array so the greatest element of the sorted array is obviously the last one and i will place uh, another pointer at one index not at the zeroth index one index inside my answer array all right so when i will place this at one index what will i get i wanted the answer of zero uh, array of zero to be smaller than array of one and array of two so this array one should be greater than both array of zero and array of two so whenever i will place a bigger value obviously if it is a sorted array and this is the greatest element if i place this element here so uh, elements at the left and right side will be obviously smaller than my smaller than it so i will place my pointer at one index then i will first decrement my j pointer by one and increment my ith pointer by two all right and inside that i will place original value of original array original value of my original array at jth position from jth position to my ith position of answer array i will transfer this value at this position all right this is what i was saying so this is my step one and this is my step two all right so 
let me just follow these steps and let uh, let me see that if i get my answer or not so what will i do i will get the value of array of original array jth index at jth index and place it inside my answer array at ith index so what will i get here i will place my g here all right now what i have to decrement my j by 1 and increment by i by 2 so i will increment my i by 2 and decrement my j by 1 all right now again i will get the value from original array at jth index the value of jth index of original array and place the value at ith index in answer array so i will place f here again i will delete this pointer from here and i will decrement my j by 1 and increment by i by 2 all right and then i will get the value of jth index of original array and place it inside my ith index of answer array so i will get the value from here uh, value is e so i will write e here again i will do the same i will get the well i will decrement the value of j by 1 and increment my value of i by 2 so now what will happen now just stay focused i will explain you a very big thing which is the main turning point of this question so whenever i will come outside my for loop first time if i filled my sorry i was not saying for loop i was just saying that whenever i will come outside my array whenever i was traveling tra traversing it by uh, increasing it by two first time all right so if i come outside my array what will i do i will again go and place this pointer at zeroth position at this position all right so i will place this i at this position again and i will delete my i from here all right now the same thing will happen i will follow my step one and then i will follow my step two and then i will get my answer so what's my step one my step one was to get the value from original array at jth index and place that value at ith index inside my answer array so i will place value of c here then i will delete this j delete this i in decrement my j by 1 increment my i by 2 again get the value place it inside the ith index decrement this j increment this i decrement this j increment this i by 2 get the value place it here all right decrement this j will get, make get you outside the outside the array and increment this i will get you outside the array so the loop will get over all right so we got our final answer and now we will see that this answer is correct or not so let me see let me write this answer c g b f a t so let me see that is c smaller than g so in this sorted array if g is the largest element and c is before g that means c is smaller than g now is is g greater than b in this sorted array g is the greatest element and b is before g that means g is greater than b now is b greater than f sorry b smaller than f so f is here and b is here that means in the sorted array f is the greater one and b is the smaller one so b is the smaller element f is the greater element same i will see again in the sorted array a is smaller and f is greater so i will write this same e is greater and a is smaller so i will place this condition 
सो इज दिस अगल सॉर्टेड अरे सो यस दिस इज विगल सॉर्ट सो वी गॉट आर आंसर इन सम स्टेप्स फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉज टू क्रिएट अ सॉर्टेड अरे सेकेंड स्टेप वॉज टू क्रिएट अ आंसर अरे राइट थर्ड स्टेप वॉज टू फिल माई आंसर अरे एंड इन साइड फिलिंग माई आंसर अरे आई हैव टू फॉलो दिस टू सब स्टेप्स और राइट एंड वेन आई विल फॉलो दिस टू सब स्टेप्स वेन एवर आई विल कम आउटसाइड माई आउटसाइड माई अरे आई विल स्टार्ट अगेन फ्रॉम जीरो एंड देन प्ले अगेन स्टार्ट फॉलोइंग दिस टू सब स्टेप्स एंड देन आई हैव टू प्लेस ऑल द वैल्यूज इन साइड माई ओरिजिनल अरे अगेन और राइट सो लेट मी टेक यू टू द कोड and we will try to code it out and we will see what is happening here so we are given a nums array and yes uh, input is given as array only so we just have to sort it out and our input management will uh, handle every input so what i have to do first let me go here and see our first step i have to first sort this out so i will write arrays dot sort nums and this will take our complexity of order of n log n this sorting method and this answer array will also take a space complexity of order of n all right so we will first i will write here sort the array yes yes sort the array then i create create my answer array So let me create the answer array. Answer new int and what will be the size of answer array? Nums dot length. All right. So the third step was to fill my answer array. Before filling, I have to place the pointers. So I will place the pointers. When I will place the pointers, integer i should be somewhere at one. and integer j should be at the last of my original array so my original array was nums dot length minus 1 now i will fill the answer array how i will start a while loop till my i is smaller than my nums dot length and what will i do in this what i was doing inside this filling array sub steps i will first follow this step and then this step so i was getting the value from nums like original array from j and placing it inside my answer array at index i then i will decrement my j by 1 and increment my i by 2 whenever i will come outside my array so i will start my i from 0 again and then i will follow the same steps again so i will copy this code and i will place this code here all right so our answer array is filled now so now we have to fill original array original array so what i have to do for that for that i have to keep a for loop from Zero to nums dot length i plus plus and fill my original nums array from my answer array. All right. So I hope you understood this function. Firstly, we sorted the array. Then we created my answer array. Then I have placed the pointers. Then I have filled my answer array in which I have started a while loop in which I was getting the value. of jth index inside my original array and placing it inside my answer array at ith index all right then i was decrementing my j and incrementing my i by 2 then when i came outside my array i again placed my ith index at 0 and again did the same thing and at last i filled the original array so i hope you understood this let me run this code and see if it gives some error so yeah it gave some error at integer i uh, at the line 36 all right so we will go at the line 36 and we'll see what is happening so all right i can't take i here 
बिकॉज आई हैव टेकन आई मैनी वेयर सो लेट मी टेक इट एस के बिकॉज आई वॉज ऑल्सो माई पॉइंट वन ऑफ द पॉइंटर्स दैट्स वाई इज इट इज गिविंग मी सम एर टेकिंग आई लेट मी टेक के एंड सी ऑल राइट सो इट इज सक्सेसफुली कंपाइल्ड नाउ आई विल सबमिट दिस कोड एंड सी इफ इट पास इज ऑल द टेस्ट केस सो ऑल राइट ऑल टेस्ट केसेज आर पास सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस वीडियो If you understood this video, please like the video and share it with your friends. And then, uh, if you have some feedback for us, please drop it in the comment section. So we will meet in the next video. Till then, thank you so much.